Warning, the following series contains strong language and sexual references. If you are not mature enough to appreciate this game, then please navigate away from this video now. Hey everyone, Deacon082 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon. In the last episode, we got the lift key, so now we can take the lift, obviously. Well, the elevator in uh, this place, Team Suckett's hideout or something. Yeah, I guess it's a hideout. Didn't really say what it was, but it's Team Rocket's hideout. And these panels take so long to go around, but there are a bunch of items in here, and if I remember right, there are a few really good items. So, we'll loop around. Here we have a nugget, we can sell that for a bunch. I wouldn't say it's a good item though, but you can sell it for a ton of money, so it's gotta be good. Here we have a ball stone, which is a moonstone. I think I have three of these now. There's four Pokemon that evolve with it. And here we have no more room for items, and, um... What are these TMs? That's Tri-Attack, the one before that's Rock Slide. TM10, Double Edge. Maybe. And TM2 is Razor Wind, which is pretty pointless. Um, I guess, let's use that HP up on, uh... On Jolt Shit. Just because. And this item! Is TM7, and if I remember right, TM7 is Horn Drill. Yep, Horn Drill. Nobody can learn it, but it's a one hit KO move. Really low accuracy, which makes it hard to use. Um, which way to go here? Um, I think we go this way. Then we go down. I don't know what's in here, actually. But I guess that's for us to find out. Yep, I'm going the right way. Crap, didn't see. Okay, we have to go down if we want to go into that other area. I kind of want to go this way first. <laughs> Just because. What's over here? There's an item. Want to see what that item is, because we can always loop back. This item is another different item, so um, I guess we'll use the rare candy on on Sand Splash. Get to 35, <laughs> just because. And here we have a super potion. So we got to loop around some more. We've already done plenty of looping. Yeah, have I mentioned these warp panels kind of suck? Because they take so long to use. Yeah, I if I haven't mentioned it, uh, these warp panels, they kind of suck because they take so long to use, you know. Anyway, now that we're back over here, I don't know why, but I feel this is a dead end or somewhere we've already been, so I don't see why we're even going this way. But what's over here? Oh no, it's not a dead end. That is where the elevator is, actually. But there is another staircase. And I didn't expect there to be a guy there. Why did you come here? There might be something in this room, but we actually had to go this way to get to the elevator. This guy has four Pokemon. And they're probably all going to go down to a single Thunderbolt. Yeah. So we got quite a few overpowered Pokemon right now. Charizard, obviously, the worst on our team so far, which is kind of ironic. But it's Sand Splash and Jolt Shit really coming through for us. Honestly, I wasn't sure if I wanted to use one of these or not, but I mean, might as well. Helps to have four Pokemon, even though, unless I'm forgetting something, I don't think Jolteon's good against any of the remaining gyms. But, I mean, it's a Jolteon, so it's going to be powerful no matter what. Level 26. Catching up pretty well. Yeah, 
just finishing off trainers here in Team Suck It's Hideout. We're gonna take some damage because cheap shots kind of annoying. But it's always nice to have a Pokemon who's just simply faster than everything. There aren't many things faster than Jolion in this game. The only one I can think of off the top of my head is Electrode. But what is in here? There's an item! And we're out of space again. Um, we'll toss this antidote. Now I'll probably get poisoned because I did that. Here we have a Hyper Potion. Hyper Joint. And uh, I can avoid you if I go back this way. So, yeah. So, now we are going to head into this elevator. We could have gone in before, but we needed the lift key to make it work. So now we can go to any floor. Let's go... We're on the third. I don't know which one we're supposed to go to, actually. But this is the first floor. This might be where we're supposed to go, actually. No, this isn't. This is like a shortcut to the exit, because remember we uh, got to uh, that spot the other way. It's probably the fourth floor where we have to go. This guy has a Grimer. Grimer has more special defense than physical. I'm not sure. Well, it doesn't matter because it's dead in one hit by a Thunderbolt. And then Falking. Falking has more physical defense than special, so it will go down like the other one. You know, I think I'd be a better, like, Wi-Fi battle narrator than Let's Player, but I can't really do Wi-Fi battles right now because my DS is a DS Lite, so it can't actually get on the internet. So that's kind of disappointing. But I'm planning on getting a 3DS when I... Wait, is that where we just went? <laughs> I think it is. Okay, there is no basement third floor, so we have to go to the fourth. But anyway, like I was saying, getting a 3DS for when X and Y come out. And yeah, we got... We don't have to fight either of these? And what's around here? No more room for items. What can we teach to somebody? Let's use a super joint on vapor shit. <laughs> we can buy them. To, we can buy them anyway. I just don't like missing items. We'll use that iron later. Nothing through there. I don't have a clue if this map is changing out. But why this guy didn't want to fight us, I'm not sure. Oh, I think... I think we probably have to fight both of them for the door to open, but it just wasn't gonna, like, engage us in battle instantly. Anyway, these rockets are like the, uh, mini, like, the checkpoint bosses, what do you call them? It's like, guys you have to fight to get to the boss or something, but they're not really bosses, so to say. And now we finally have something who can take out ground types and rock types like Feckles. We can now use a Burp Beam or Spurn Beam or Ice Beam or Cum Beam or all the other beams. Put our high beams on. We're going through this shit. And then Arcock. It's Arbok, the evolved form of Feckles. And if it's still a rock type, then it should go down... If we can hit it, it should go down in a burp beam. That's pretty powerful. Super effective hit and the kill. Always good. Level 26. Yeah, I, I, I like battling. I just really have never had the urge to make a competitive team lately. Because I couldn't battle with black and white. I didn't have uh, Wi-Fi at home. Well, I did, but it was terrible. Now I have Wi-Fi in my apartment, and I can't actually uh, do anything with it because the encryption is uh, WPA2 or whatever, and as you know, DS Lights can't handle encryption, so I'm kind of screwed over on that. But when I get a 3DS, I will be able to go online, and I will be able to do anything you can do with it. So. If, if you're interested in, like, Wi-Fi battling me, once I get a 3DS, I'll set up, I'll make some teams on there. I'll get more into, uh, competitive, and 
I might battle some of you guys and upload them if you're interested. And I will, uh, I might, uh, get some sort of capture add-on. I haven't decided yet. But it's either going to be a, uh, capture board for my 3DS, or I'm gonna hold off for a limited edition if they make a limited edition. But here we go. There is a guy back here. And I don't know what he uses, but I say, uh, let's lead with Sander. We haven't seen Sander in a while. Can. You. Dig it. Beat me. I. Own. You. You. Will. Loose. You know, I, I hate people who talk like that in like one line at a time. And this is Giovanni. He leads off with the Hornets. I didn't think he had an Onnets in this game, so uh, yeah, that kind of uh, ruined my thoughts of leading with Charizard. So we got Vaporeon. Easily the best option for dealing with rock types now, as we can just bubble beam them away. The fact that Bubble Beam's a TM in this game really makes it easy for people who are wanting to use Eevee. Because you'd have to wait until you get Surf, which is actually... Well, it's actually not too far away, but... Yeah, you gotta go quite a ways before you're gonna be able to get there. A lot of XP, his next Pokémon is a Rhyporn. I... I don't... I really don't remember him having an Onix. At least in this fight. He had a Kangaskhan in a later fight. He had a Persian in yellow. Cheap Shot, which is Quick Attack. And I will teach it in place of Tackle, even though I'm not going to use either. It never hurts to have a priority move, even though we'll probably be faster than everything we'll fight. And here we go, Kangaskhan. This thing's actually pretty powerful. I might be a good idea to switch to Sand Slash so we can slash it. That's, uh, powerful. Its attack raises up through Rage. You're gonna use Guard Spec. Let's see if Ice Beam does more damage. They're about the same. Its attack raises again through Rage. And this Rage, if it criticals, we're safe. Criticals actually ignore your own stat boost, too. So, if you use, like, Sword Stance three times and then get a critical, it actually does less damage. Cunt, I see you fuck your fuck on every day, but I don't. I'm afraid to get AIDS. We shall meet again one day. Remember to have fun with Fuckemon every day. Goodbye. And he leaves us an item. And we don't have room for this. Oh, what can we get rid of? Ah. You know what? Let's use the iron. Who needs defense? Uh, vapor shit could use some defense. I don't know. We'll just use it. And this is the shit scope, which is a key item that lets us see shit, I guess. And now we can take a shortcut out of here by going to the first floor. Long elevator ride. Should have said this is an elevator on this one. Anyway, we can now get out of here through the staircase, actually, um... Wait a second. <laughs> I'm lost already. Wait, no, I know which way to go. We have to avoid this rocket and go down here? No, wait. Crap! I'm lost. I'm lost. We'll just use dig. Yeah, why'd I even... Why'd I even think twice? We can just dig out of here. Takes us over here. Quite helpful, actually. So, yeah, how are we doing on time? I don't know. But I also can't find the gym. So... Um, that leaves us with two options, I guess. We can head east, or we can head west. But actually, um, I know which way we'll be going next episode, and you don't. So I'll keep that a little suspenseful for you guys. And next time on Let's Play Fuckemon, we will be headed in some direction. Maybe both directions. I don't know. So... See you guys next time.